an attorney for Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said NFL owners are being misled about negotiations on a contract extension for Commissioner Roger Goodell, according to a letter that was sent to the league's council and shared with team owners and executives. A copy of the letter was obtained by ESPN. In a 24-hour period, Jones and the league have accused each other of misleading allegations, and Jones has threatened to file a lawsuit if Goodell's contract extension is completed without final review or approval from the league's 32 teams. On Saturday night, Jones was terminated as a non-voting, ad hoc member of the league's compensation committee by committee chairman Arthur Blank, owner of the Atlanta Falcons. Blank cited Jones expressed intent to sue the league and members of the committee during a November 2 committee conference call as a reason for his action. In a letter sent late Wednesday by Cowboys General Counsel Jason Cohen to owners on the Compensation Committee and to Brad Karp, the league's outside counsel retained for this matter, Jones claimed he has discovered a number of very concerning issues while engaged as a committee member including that the ownership, Sick and Jerry Jones, now understand that they have been unquestionably misled by Blank and that critical facts have been misrepresented regarding Goodell's contract. The letter, which was copied to all NFL owners, alleges that Blank told owners, including Jones, on numerous occasions that the six-man committee's recommendation would be unanimous. Two ownership sources, however, said the committee is not currently unanimous on Goodell's contract, which is in its final stages. Jones' letter alleges Blank backed off his word that there would be unanimity on the committee before the extension was finalized. Cohen copied all owners on the letter despite a warning sent Saturday by Carp to Jones to refrain from communicating directly with the committee or any other owners as it pertains to Goodell's contract, a league source said. An owner source, who claims to be on the fence regarding the dispute, provided a copy of the correspondence to ESPN. It was verified by two other sources. The tone of the letter paints a specific conflict between Jones and Blank under the larger context of negotiations and league protocol. Commissioner Goodell's contract extension is a substantial commitment by the owners, as more than $200 million is at stake, on top of the $200 million already paid to him, the letter states. This is in addition to the unique and largely unfettered power exercised by the commissioner. Ownership can't have the chairman let us down again. Jones said in the letter that the compensation committee's consultants called Goodell's previous contract the most one-sided deal they have ever seen. His current contract expires at the end of 2018, and the contract extension is proposed through 2024. Jones also alleges in the letter that he has discovered a discretionary bonus plan that was not fully explained to ownership in a working contract proposal that includes less guaranteed compensation for Goodell. A source said that Blank has assured Goodell he would be able to make at least the same $40 million he has been paid on average under the 2012 deal.